This is our first full day in Edinburgh and we are at the bottom end of the Royal Mile. And this is Hollywood. And this is Hollywood Palace. This is the home of the Queen when she's visiting in Scotland. We're gonna go in and take a little tour. I'm sure we're probably not gonna be able to do any filming inside, but we'll show you what we can. Well, we just heard that we're not gonna be able to do any photography inside. So, we're just gonna have to settle for exterior shots. <laughs> Our apologies for that. Seems like that's always the case, doesn't it? Holyrood House Palace is behind us and we are starting up the Royal Mile. Why the Royal Mile? Well, I think it's because Edinburgh Castle is at the very top of this very long hill at the other end of the Royal Mile. And that's where we're headed next. Ah yes, well here we are three hours later and we are still climbing <laughs> the Royal the Royal Mile. <laughs> Will we ever reach the top? Uh, stick around and we'll find out. Off the Royal Mile there are many closes. There are these little alleyways that lead you back to unexpected little things. In this case, the Writers' Museum. hike without any Sherpas we have crested the Royal Mile and we are at the Edinburgh Castle <laughs> more to come look at the view of the city from here Wow fabulous isn't it well when you're down below you can you can tell that this place is just massive never been to a castle that's actually had street signs in it. It was that large. This is really impressive. The view from up here is so expansive. That's where I think we were. Look at that. I know I've said this before, but the, the history is, is simply amazing. There's history that there were people on this rock, this huge rock, first century. That's how long there's been a fortress of one kind or another here. It's, have I said this before? It blows your mind. First century. Street and the old city. Look at the gorgeous colors, fun little shops and restaurants. This is this is fun stuff. Edinburgh is actually divided into two: the old town and the new town, by uh, this valley in the middle of the city. And so many people visit the old town but never make it over here to the new town which is the Georgian area 
and uh, they're really missing out. This is a fun area too. How can you not love a place that has a tavern called the Shugly Pig? So as I said, the new town is, you know, 1700s and it's very Georgian. It's, I don't know, I guess you'd say more stately, um, you know, the nice wrought iron and everything. It's very attractive. Reminds us a little of Bath, I guess, in, in some ways. And the musical Oliver, although I don't get the reference. <laughs> so I don't... 